All right, so it's time for me to do another full series manga review. And on this full series review, I'm going to be reviewing Tekken. It's called Tekken Concrete or whatever. But where I read it, it was called Black and White. So it could be referred to um, as Tekken Concrete or Black and White. So the main characters of this manga are literally called Black and White. And as their name implies, that's actually what they represented like i'm i'm gonna talk right now so in my reviews my full series reviews i go over themes that i saw in the manga not all of the themes of course because there's there's a lot of themes in mangas but the first theme i'm gonna talk about is light so um the lightness um the goodness basically in this um weird city of tokyo i could presume was a white white basically had the attributes of a good person he did not like violence and things like that which is the pol polar opposite of his friend black that he likes stealing watches and stuff for white but white um he just didn't like beating up people or anything like that along those lines so that was what that was one of the themes in the manga the other theme was darkness which was represented by black because um, even later on in the manga, it, since the beginning of the manga, like, um, black, like, stealing, watches, other stuff, money, beating up thugs, um, and lowly criminals, uh, delinquents, and things like that. So he represented, you could say the evil, but not really, because I don't see black as really being evil, but the darkness, what people perceive as dark in society, basically. Another theme is society. Um, society was a major theme, which basically was implying that... The society you grow up in um, definitely affects who you become and who you are and things like that because black and white grew up in this society. But even though they grew up in the same society, like they were, are pol polar opposites from each other. So, um, but society does play a big factor on who you are personality wise and things like that. And yeah, in black's case, he became somebody that was ruthless. Um, they didn't really know much from right and wrong um, in the standards of society and did whatever he wanted. He, he was basically, you could say, as free as a bird, while in the case of white, he was more reserved and stuff and kind of followed black along. He just kind of tagged along. Yes, he was having fun with his friend black, but um, society shaped white in a way where he didn't like violence and things, things like black actually did um, in the manga. The next theme I'm going to talk about is friendship. The friendship between black and white was very, very strong. Black always wanted, black and white were always at each other's sides. When they co coordinated attacks and things like that, they were really in tune and things like that, which was great. They always was flying, you could say, through the buildings and stuff together. Um, the majority of the manga, it was just black and white together until towards the end bit, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Um, and it just shows that friendship is a very important thing and it is necessary um, in life to at least have one friend that you could trust um, and be with because if you're just all alone in the world, then that's not a good thing, which brings me to my next theme of this manga, which was loneliness, where we got to see Black and how his character um, changed because of the loneliness of not being with white since white was with the police so black's character became more unstable he started having visions he started seeing um, white when he was not really there and that basically caused him to become very lonely to the point where he just fabricated um uh, visions all around him to comfort himself and he he even created um the minotaur which in the sense was himself um not his true self but part of his self even though the minotaur said um black i'm your true self which is not true um that darkness that was inside black was only part of himself and which brings me to another theme which is the true self um we we have different parts of ourselves, like bad parts and things like that. And it just make us who we are. And the darkness that was inside Black was definitely uh, one of the parts of himself, but not his true self, because Black is not just evil, truly evil. Like, you just want to kill people and things like that. He's not that type of person. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is no one being perfect. Like, basically, everybody has their issues. They're missing gears and screws and whatever, like they said in the manga and basically what black lights uh what black lacks in himself 
um, white has and what white lacks in himself, black has. That's why their bond is so strong because um, black, basically, they're, the things are missing black and white it complements them it complements it basically to the degree where black and white are very strong friends and things like that and their bond is very strong because they have the elements of their self which uh they have the elements that each other's missing is what i'm trying to say which is a really great thing so enough of the themes I like the ending of this because they actually went to the beach house, I believe, that they wanted to go to. They were at the beach, so I, I'm presuming that they actually did go to the beach house. The artwork was very unique, very nice, and amazing. The assassins bit, where the assassins were chasing black and white, um, that brought a sense of danger into the story, which was very good. Because if the assassins were never introduced, then it would be just like, oh, black and white just... Um, still going on their adventure on in the town, but the assassins brought that danger element where um, me as the reader was like, oh man, is one of them actually going to die? And White actually almost died in the manga, which was very scary to see. Um, when a statement that Black kept saying is, this is my city, um, that was very cool because it just shows Black's cockiness and he actually meant that statement. Like he really believed that was his city. Um, another thing I like is that Black actually could combat a lot of the adults and stuff and beat them up, which is really cool because I was like, maybe there's going to be a little time skip or something, but the manga was too short for that where we might have seen Black grow up a little more and become even stronger physically wise and stuff. But um, in the end, we did not get to see that, but that was fine on that the character stayed the same age um, throughout the manga. We could presume maybe a year went by when they were at the beach or whatever, but there's no clear um, confirmation for that. So I really like that. The character designs were very, very unique. Like I said, the artwork overall was amazing, but the character designs for black and white were really cool. And that's all I really have for this full manga review. If you want to really get all the other aspects of the manga, all the other events that happen, then you should read the manga yourself. It's a very short manga. It's only 33 chapters, which I was surprised. I thought it was going to be longer. But the ending was great. The pacing was great. And the artwork, like I said, was beautiful. There's a lot more themes than what I mentioned in this review. And yeah, overall, I'm going to give this manga an 8 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this review. And if you did, remember to have a great day. Peace.